welcome back. Goa Coast Guard is all set to commission its three vessels on 5th November at MPT. Governor of Goa, Mridula Sinha, will commission the vessels. The DIG Coast Guard, Manoj Barkar, says that these vessels would be additional arms to the Coastal Security of Goa and Maharashtra. The new jetty by Port Trust will help ship basin and other operations. Two of them are fast petrol vessels built by Cochin Shipyard Limited. One ship is an interceptor boat which is built by Larson and Tobro at uh, Surat. These ships, two of the ships will be based here at Goa and one ship will be based at Mangalore. So we, I have got now additional arms for looking after the security of the Goa and Maharashtra ports. In addition always our headquarters from Bombay deputes many other ships for the security of the coast of Goa. Our port trust staff at Chana Mikhetla, Navy 125 meter and Coast Guard 125 meter. This jetty alien, at the time ship basing and the operations are very much done. And in another, I am the only offshore patrol which has a big ship. The mostly December, not this December, coming December, Goa ship at the time we take over and Goa base at Chana. Goa will begin their campaign in South Zone One Day's competition from Friday with a clash against Kerala in Hyderabad. Goa had failed to win a single match in this competition last season. However, Nuan Zoisa's boys had done pretty well in the four-day Ranji Trophy Championship and also impressed in 2020 competition last season. According to the former Sri Lankan cricketer turned coach, Goa will have to overcome their mental barrier to do well in One Day's. Goa were one of the most dominant teams in last season's 2020 championship but suffered a heartbreak as they missed the final berth by a fraction of run rate quotient. There was a sense of deja vu in the Goa camp as well as for the cricket lovers in the state as Zoisa's boys had once again fallen short by a statistical quotient in the Ranji Trophy failing to make the knockouts by the thinnest of margins. This was however a strong evidence of the emergence of Goan cricket at the national level. But there was embarrassment as well when the state failed to win a single match in the 50 overs Subaya Pillai Trophy. As the team prepares to begin the 2014-15 season with Subaya Pillai Trophy South Zone competition, can we expect a different result from Zoisa's army? Yeah, look, uh, we had a long chat after one day. You know, it's all sort of not about skills, not about go and compete, probably about psychological, uh, psych psychological stuff. Uh, I think that's what's the matter. Uh, that's why we lacked uh, when it matters in the middle. When we are going to, uh, doing good, we lost wickets. Mm. And when you're bowling good uh, again in four or five overs, we went off. It's about we didn't give a good comebacks. And we, we got close uh, with Chennai and uh, Hyderabad a couple of games. I thought probably the best two teams in that competition apart from uh, Karnataka. Uh, so we have to rectify those. Uh, it's just we have to go and play first game. You know, it's a matter of first game. It's a very important. You can't just say every time yeah, South Zone is good and we are the underdogs. Yeah, we go as underdogs, but we have to compete with this guy. That's only you get good cricket and you play cricket and become a good player. You happy with what uh, options you have in the Arsenal? Yeah, why not? It's good to have uh, your local talent. So once we get an outstation player, it's an extra addition, but uh, we trust our players now. So they are quite ready. We have a couple of backups as well, which, which we didn't have uh, last, say, good four or five years. Mm. Uh, there are players to fight for places, which is really good sign for going cricket, and more to come probably from under 19. So the competitiveness will be good. Uh, so it's uh, good for the guys who have been playing, and you can't take things for light at the moment. So they also know that uh, they are having some... Uh, fight back and the fighters are there so it's really good for going. Yeah. Meanwhile a keen follower of world football, Zoisa is keeping a close eye on the latest development in Indian football as well. I watch a couple of games, uh, you can clearly see the difference uh, even the foreigners and Indian, couple of Indians are really good mm. which I followed a few games on the TV as well as live at uh, Fathodai Stadium. Yeah, um, it's very good for going which it never works in one year. While the Goan cricket lovers may have had a headache uh, reading about the troubles faced by the Goa Cricket Association off the field, 
the Goan cricketers can uh, provide a soothing balm to the cricket followers of Goa uh, if they perform well at the upcoming Subaya Pillai Trophy. And we are hoping for a great performance from uh, Nuan Zoisa's uh, boys as well. With video journalist Omkar Ferrari, this is Neeraj Prabhu for Prudent from Parori. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Take care and keep watching Prudent. Goodbye. Tumi Purita Prudent. You're watching Prudent.